Hey, now dating a girl that hated video games gave me kind of a bad taste in my mouth about video games themselves, and I kind of got embarrassed by the fact that I love video games and I play them fucking almost every day. Sometimes all day, every day, for many days. Regardless, I have been playing Star Wars The Old Republic lately, and Minecraft, but this is going to be more about Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm also playing this game called Victoria 2, which is pretty cool. I played World of Warcraft for years, many years, two, three years, four years. I started playing in like 2003 or 2005 and played on and off for four years, something like that, three years. And that game is a great game, and it got better, and the expansions, although I was a little disappointed with just a five-level increase, uh, by the way, if you're not a gamer, this might be boring or confusing for you. But bear with me or shut the video off. Um, and Warcraft has a lot to it. And it, it's 15, 16 bucks a month to play that game. And in, on top of whatever $50 to buy the game. At least it was on purchase. Now I think you can play it for free up to 20 levels. Um... So I decided, you know what, I liked Star. I liked Warcraft so much, it was fun to play with my friends, I have a lot of friends that play it, we get on Skype, we talk, we hang out, we laugh, we joke, we play video games, we get better at strategy together, we get to know each other better in the process, we work together to overcome obstacles, it's a, it's a great bonding experience, and you know, one of my friends is a huge Star Wars fan and was like very gung-ho about this game coming out, I, I've been thinking about this game for the last year. I knew it was coming out. Uh, this is Star Wars The Old Republic. Massively multiplayer online role-playing game. So, you know, it launched in... Uh, I think my video might have just froze. I hope it didn't. Okay, welcome back. It came out December 20th. Picked it up the day of launch. Oh, and I think my video is freezing again. I want to punch my screen. Um, we picked it up. We played the hell out of it for like three weeks. Me and Bryce and... Uh, Unfortunately, another friend of ours um, was waited a four days to play, so he was behind when he started, he and his wife, and they don't play as much as we did, and so we, we, we got to higher level, and in these games, when you are not the same level as someone, if you play more than the other person, you really can't play together, because they have these low-level missions, and we, you have these high-level missions, and if you go there, you'll kill all the enemies in one hit. They don't get any experience. If they go to yours, they can't even get into your, your missions. The missions are piss-fucking-poor. Uh, the only thing is, it's just a game with a Star Wars overlay. You hit things with your lightsaber, and you hit it like a baseball bat. Like You'll hit a, you'll hit like a wild animal, and you'll keep hitting it with your lightsaber like you're hitting it with an axe. A lightsaber is supposed to kill things in one hit. That's the point of the lightsaber, is it's the most dangerous weapon in the galaxy. So, I mean, at the least they could have done is make things dodge until you finally get that finishing blow where you strike at once. Stupid fucking programmers. So that's awful. You have a lightsaber that's like a baseball bat. Um, uh, the voice acting is fucking terrible. 90% terrible. Not Okay, I would say the voice acting... 45% from what I've played, and I have eight characters, I've played, that's the max amount of characters you can have, I've played three of them, pretty much, really played, I have one that I've played up to level 34, 50 is the level cap, which also sucks, because in Warcraft right now, 85 is the level cap, so you think the least they could have done was make the game go up to 85 to start with. Um... The other character is level 20, the other character is level 13. You have to do the same fucking quest line for all three of them. There's no variety. Uh, very, very little variety. I would say the game, the voice acting is about 50, 40% horrible, 40% mediocre. No, it's not even that good. 50% horrible, like bad voice acting. Like if I was watching a movie, it would be one of the worst movies I've ever seen if the voice act, if the acting was as... It, like this game. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. It wouldn't be as good as like Friday the 13th Part 4, which I've never seen, but I assume it's shit for acting. I don't I don't think it really got lauded for its acting. But like, bad, bad voice acting. The, the, the characters are not committed to the words they're saying. It's horrible. You get a few people, a few characters in the game that are awesome, really well voice acted, and I'm so happy that those are in there like gems. Diamonds in the rough. 
Um, but for the most part, one bad voice actor will take me out of an experience. It ruins the game completely. Like, they shouldn't have done voice acting if they weren't going to go full on and get good voice actors. It's like they got their sister to do the fucking voice acting. Assuming that their sister was a shitty voice actor. So you have, like, at least 50% of the game is horribly voice acted when there's voice acting. Maybe 60%. You get, like, 20% or 20 that's passable, 30% that's passable, and you get, like, there's, like, 8% of the voice acting is good. Um, severely disappointing. The game, like I said, was fifty dollars to buy, I think fifty or sixty, and it's fifteen bucks a month to play. It's got way less to do in it than Warcraft, and people keep going like, "Well, Warcraft's been out for seven years." I'm like, "Well, then they should have put the fucking game out at seven year Warcraft level. You don't put a game out that's as good as a game is was five years ago and just say, well, it's." It's a new game. It's it's allowed to have a five. No, I'm paying 15 bucks a month for this game. It's got to be as good as everything else that's out there. I'm not going to spend $200 a year on a piece of shit. So I'm going to cancel my account right now. Um, I, I highly recommend not fucking getting involved with this game. If you're looking for a really good online game that you've never played, pick Warcraft. I, I That's the only one. I've only one I've ever played. Ultima Online was fun, and it's free to play now, and that's kind of... I mean, that's dated, though. All these games where you fucking sink monthly fees are, like, just almost a waste of time. Like, there's so many games out there that are free to play now. Star Wars Old Republic, I give it a 2 out of 10 after playing it for three months. I would literally, literally, if this game was free to play, it would be passable. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7 out of 10. I hear that once you get to level 50, the game maxes out and there's not much to do. So I don't even want to get there. I just want to cut my losses, so to speak. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to give this game, and I played a lot of fucking video games, I think I'm going to give this game a 2 out of 10. Maybe a 4 out of 10, to be fair. There's no guild bank. It's like it missed the mark on so many things, and it's just like hanging on to the Star Wars theme to hope that people keep playing it. Fucking, if you can try out the demo or something, be my guest. It seems kind of cool at first, but once you realize how fucking repetitive the questing system is, all these quests are like, go to this point, and on the map, you see like a green dot. Go to the green dot, then go to the green dot, then go to the green dot. And at the green dot, you might have a storyline, like a guy might tell you something in like a poorly voice act acted way, or it might just be like, you click a thing, and then you go to that green dot, and then the quest is over. It's all green dot. You go to the green dots. It's on the map. There's no challenge. It's fucking horrible. Horrible, horrible game. I'm so fucking upset with it, and I will never... I have no plans to ever play it again. Maybe maybe I'll log in to give my friends all my credits. I did the auction house. I mean, it's... The fun of the auction house is psychologically raping the other people on the server. You know, oh, severely overcharging for the things you sell and buying things when people post them stupidly low. But the auction house is, like, seriously difficult to navigate. Like, you can't search uh, items. You can't search by words. You have to go to, like, a category and then a subcategory. You can't just search, like, lightsaber. you got to go to melee weapons, one-handed, and then search lightsabers. It's like, what? You can't just search for lightsabers? What if I... Uh, bad. Bad game.